China is famous for its unique cuisine, and among it are snake dishes that hold a distinct place. So what is the process of raising and preparing snakes like for farmers? Join me as we explore this fascinating journey. Let's explore the process of catching wild snakes to raise on farms. Initially, farmers hunted snakes to supply the traditional Chinese medicine market. However, due to a decrease in supply and rising prices, they recognized the opportunity and succeeded in breeding snakes, opening up strong development prospects for the industry. To begin farming, breeders need to collect eggs from the snakes they have caught and raised previously to initiate the breeding process. After mating, female snakes need about 30 to 35 days to lay eggs and each time they lay they can produce between 12 to 21 eggs. Do you know how the process of incubating snake eggs works? The incubation process is quite simple. First, breeders prepare a box with the appropriate humidity. Then, a layer of fine sand is spread evenly on the surface of the box, and the eggs are placed on top. After about 70 days, the eggs will automatically crack open, marking the birth of the baby snakes. Caring for snakes is not just about feeding them. It also requires attention to temperature and humidity. Choosing the right enclosure is a key factor in creating an ideal environment for the snakes. The enclosure needs to adjust the temperature according to the season, with good ventilation in the summer and a heating system in the winter. Incorrect adjustments can be dangerous for the snakes. What happens if the snakes escape? Leave a 1 and stay tuned until the end of the video to find out how the farmers handle it. The nutrition regime for snakes is an important factor in their care. The food is adjusted according to the needs of each type of snake, which can include chickens, ducks, frogs, or other types of prey. One thing to note is that when providing food for snakes, care must always be taken when handling their enclosures, as any accidental contact could pose a serious risk.
The farming environment is designed in a honeycomb shape with many separate enclosures, each for one snake. This structure helps prevent unwanted conflicts between the snakes, creating favorable conditions for their growth. When they reach adulthood, snakes are not only used in the medical industry but are also consumed domestically and exported to countries such as Germany, Japan, South Korea, and many other international markets. The venom of snakes is a complex mixture of toxins, consisting of various powerful proteins and enzymes. Some types of venom can directly attack the nervous system, causing dangerous symptoms such as paralysis, respiratory failure, seizures, and even death. But have you ever wondered what would happen if these snakes escaped? According to statistics from the Ministry of Health, in 2023, there were over 10,000 reported snake bite cases, including 300 fatalities. This number has caused fear and anxiety in the community, especially in rural areas. In addition, snakes also hunt poultry farms, especially chickens, due to their docile nature, making them an ideal target for snakes as an easy food source. The contrast between the slow movements of chickens and the agility and danger of snakes creates a dramatic confrontation, posing a significant threat to the poultry flock. Even the mightiest and most ferocious eagles cannot withstand the power and brutality of snakes. Although snake venom is often seen as a deadly danger, in medicine, it is considered a valuable treasure. With its ability to coagulate and prevent blood clotting, snake venom can help eliminate platelet clumps and even offer hope in the fight against cancer. The battle against the invasion of snakes when they escape on farms has become more intense than ever. Controlling the snake population in the wild plays a crucial role, requiring proactive and cautious efforts to detect and capture species that could pose a danger to humans. Are you curious about what happens to these snakes afterward? In China, snakes are not only a part of the cuisine, but also an integral part of ancient traditions. Every part of the snake is used creatively, offering unique and special dishes that reflect respect for nature and its resources. Snake meat is a high-end delicacy in many restaurants, 
prepared with finesse into unique dishes. The trend of eating snake meat is not limited to certain regions, but has spread across China, becoming an important part of the country's culinary culture. Snakeskin is the most valuable product in the snake farming industry, and it is especially popular in the fashion sector. With its superior quality, snakeskin is featured in high-end products such as handbags and watch straps. The luxury of snakeskin provides a stable income for farmers and businesses. If snakeskin is known for its high economic value due to its aesthetics and quality, does crocodile skin possess similar characteristics? Let's explore. Crocodile skin, considered one of the rarest and most expensive materials in the world, can be transformed into delicate, luxurious, handcrafted products, each item showcasing its unique and distinct beauty. Crocodile skin, with its unique natural patterns, is highly sought after for crafting high-end fashion products such as handbags, leather jackets, and luxury accessories. Its refined beauty and elegance bring a distinctive style that captures everyone's attention. With a powerful 500 horsepower engine, the LLC LSEG Convoy is transporting a 160,374 pound heat exchanger recovery unit. They navigate through challenging terrain and harsh, snow-covered weather conditions safely and efficiently, designed specifically for this purpose, the convoy ensures precise and stable movement. Faced with challenging conditions, the convoy encounters a significant challenge. Carrying a transformer with a load of up to 211,241 pounds and a total convoy weight of 319,669 pounds, they must detour around a stream. To ensure safety, they utilize a specially developed bypass route to avoid the limitations of the bridge's load-bearing capacity. Have you ever wondered how unloading cargo on a train works at a power plant? 
With the support of powerful equipment, the unloading process is carried out efficiently. Modern machinery is used to lift, move, and arrange heavy cargo, ensuring fast and safe progress.